All right, time now for Top Talkers. And a good uh, topic today we think is going to generate quite the discussion. And uh, let's introduce the panel. We have Graham Richardson from CTV Ottawa. Hello. We have Angie Poirier from Magic uh, Mornings. And who's the fellow at the end? Oh, we know that guy. I'm Kurt new Stewart. here. I yeah, we've just never walked seen in the around. door. I don't, <laughs> they told me to sit. Pete Miller. <laughs> All right, listen. Booze and convenience stores. Uh, the, the vice president of operations for Max, Max Convenience Stores in Ontario right. wants to see beer, wine, spirits sold in his stores in Ontario. Mm -hmm. Opinions. Are we still having this discussion? We are. Apparently we are. <laughs> yeah. And why? I don't understand. I've been pro it from the start. The, the argument has always been for retail liquor operations owned by the province that they give so much money to the province so therefore keep it government owned. Mm -hmm. Like there's no other industry mm -hmm. that does this. So the Convenience Store Association and Max says, we'll create jobs. Right. But the bottom line is, uh, we're all adults, and it, uh, it's amazing that we're still having this conversation in 2013, uh, from my perspective. And they're saying that profits would go to the province. The province would make it money would make off more this. Money, yeah. They're saying it's beneficial for that. It's beneficial for, for some reason, they've come up with 1,600 jobs. I don't know how they come to that number. But they're saying they, you know, they're partial owners of um, a, a chain that operates in Quebec. Yeah. Where uh, convenience stores in Quebec are able to operate. They own the Couchard, hours. right? Yeah, the Couchard, exactly. Well, I think part of the problem, and you and I had this discussion early this morning, is from a uh, policing perspective, it gets a little hairy, and I think this only lasts for a while when yeah. you first institute this idea. They're worried about people going to get booze all over the place, young people trying to get booze. You know, the booze is more accessible for longer hours in more locations of the day. And I understand what they're saying. But you got to catch up with the time. I mean, swear to God, people, Newfoundland yeah. has been selling beer in their corner stores for <laughs> eons. Well, and that's This is Ontario. Yeah, and I mean, you know, Halifax, you can get it in the supermarkets. And, you know, I have a cottage in Quebec, and you can get it everywhere. You're just giving these mom-and-pop places more of an opportunity for people to come through the door where they might not necessarily do that. You're giving them a chance to thrive in a market that is booming when they can't even compete at this point. Can it be responsibly done? Well, that's the question. Another thing we discussed this morning, will this provide... Um, you know, uh, opportunity for younger people to go into uh, get uh, booze when they shouldn't, and will those who operate convenience stores, because they're basically franchisees, mm -hmm. right? Will those who operate those stores be able to monitor that sort of activity? I think they'll do it more strictly. They have a lot yeah. more on the line. They, they don't want to lose their business, it. so they are going to be strictly IDing. They already do it now with tobacco. But the untold, the un untold part of, of all of this is uh, the power of the LCBO. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the LCBO is not only uh, the biggest buyer. Uh, what other business could put hundred thousand dollar kitchens? in their stores all over the province. May, yeah. No other business can do that. The reason they can do that is that they are government. <laughs> Crown company, right? You're yeah. welcome for that, by and, the way. And, 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 and people love going to the LCBO, I get that. The other thing is, it's patronage, right? Mm -hmm. When you run the provincial government, you get to hand out these really lucrative jobs at very few places, one of them, the LCBO. Mm -hmm. And no one will ever say that, but it's power and it's patronage and it's Graham, uh, it's appointing party hacks. Are you saying are you saying there's 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 patronage and backroom deals and and things that happen yes. on the sly yeah. within the provincial government of Ontario? Yes. yes. Shocking. Yes, it's just shocking. <laughs> what? So that, that, that's, that's a part of the argument as well, or a part of the reason why it's held for so long. But it's also something that Ontarians apparently want. There have been polls that just suggest 60-some percent of Ontarians want to see booze in their corner store. Mm -hmm. sure. I mean, if it's something but, you want. And I don't, think, I don't think you'd see the LCBO shut down or, you know, no, no, but but, no. but but a lot of their a lot of their step into the government, a lot of their profit would go somewhere else. So they're going to fight this tooth and nail. And the other thing, this is a pardon the pun, it's a hangover from <laughs> old Orange, Ontario, right? Mm -hmm. Where where it, you know the Protestant sort of church going folk that is our history um, uh, just don't like the idea of the sin in the corner store. Right. And that, that's part of it, too. That is very sin much part of it. Sin in the corner store. <laughs> I think Kurt Studley is just fine with that sin. All right, we're going to wrap it right I've there. I've been a sinner a long time. <laughs> From Newfoundland. Thanks very much to the panel with Graham, Angie, and Kurt today.